hello africa you're welcome to better convo sports edition our interview segment on the athletics 360 podcast on this week's episode we bring you the president of the confederation of african athletics caa mr ahmad kakaba mabu mr kakaba will be asking questions from africa journalists ranging from the future of caa events support for african athletes caa continental tour doping in sports covid 19 and many more join us after the break From Charles Sehe, journalist at Revelation Sport. What impact did COVID 19 have on CAA activities? Have the federations had the financial support of the CAA to deal with this pandemic? I would like, first of all, uh, say good morning to all of you, and uh, it's my great pleasure to have you on this forum. and. Uh, as a president of the Confederation of African Athletics, uh, I would like to give you some opinions and some explanation. The impact of the COVID-19 on our activities is, is uh, very, very bad because we st- uh, stopped our activities. There is no competition, our program is not working. So uh, for us as a sports, we cannot exist if there is no activities, if there is no competition. Uh, of course, uh, we have to follow the rules made by the different governments of Africa. They made many uh, different rules uh, according to the situation. Then some of uh, our countries, they closed their borders. Some of them, uh, they didn't allow our athletes to travel abroad. And of course, uh, there is no international competition for the moment, so um, the impact is very, very bad on our sports. We don't exist if there is no competition. We don't exist if there is no action, training, uh, all the activities that sport needs. Unfortunately, we are all of us. All the world is in that situation. We are part of the world, so Africa cannot have uh, a particular. Um, activities during that period. It is a very bad period for us. Of course, um, for the financial means, uh, we don't have the financial means for the moment, but uh, we try to keep uh, the grant that I have, uh, or World Athletics is uh, often given to our federation. Uh, but uh, in Africa, uh, we signed an agreement with the Spanish companies uh, for the marketing for marketing our events. But because we don't have any events, uh, all the marketing programs cannot work. So this is also a very big problem for us. Um, Finally, finally, we can say that uh, only our few means must come just from the grant that we are expecting from the uh, World Athletics. Question by Dion Venu Sawadogo international athlete what are the measures taken by the african confederation to support athletes until the next african championships question by charity wanja from kenya 
What is the way forward in regard to the African Athletics Tour, for example, the cancellation of Nairobi and Ethiopian tours? What plans are underway to caution African athletes from the effects of COVID-19, plus what is being done to advise athletes to stay active? Um, about your question, the question related to the uh, the way forward regarding the athletics tour, for example, so the cancellation is uh, it is the fact of the environment. So certainly, if we overcome the situation of the COVID nineteen, uh, we will strategize a new a calendar for all those events. It must be uh, twenty twenty one or for sure. 2022. It, de it doesn't depend of our choice. We are in a very difficult situation beyond our control. So we, we cannot do anything facing that situation. Another question from Charity. How is CAA cooperating with local federations in the fight against doping? African Championships medalists from Asaba 2018 are kindly inquiring when they will receive their medal money. To fight against doping is, uh, is a permanent fight. Uh, CIA is not cooperating only with the Federation, but we are also cooperating with the national anti-doping agencies in the countries. Uh, we have, uh, from our program, we have outdoor control, we have uh, the comp uh, control during the competitions, and uh, our integrity unit from the World Athletic also is following the process. So we are cooperating, uh, World Athletics, CAA, and the National Federation with WADA, uh, the World Athletic, uh, World Agency, World Anti-Doping Agency, and the National Anti-Doping Agency. All those organizations are, are cooperating to fight very strongly doping. Question from Ibrahim Mfukue from Cameroon for Innovation Athletics. World Athletics is committed to support athletes from around the world as much as it can during this COVID-19 period. By what mechanism and how high does the CAA intend to participate in the said project? What are the criteria for the selection of beneficiaries in Africa? What will be the place of the federations in this process? Um, I know that um, the organizing committee of the ASABA 2018, uh, they made the promises to, to, to grant a prize to the athletes. This is not a program of the Confederation of African Athletics. Uh, certainly, if it is it is not really uh, paid, uh, if the grant is not paid yet, um, what we can do is to send a letter to the organizing committee reminding them to pay the grant that they decided by themselves to say that they will give two thousand or three thousand US dollar to 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 the athletes who uh, won the first or second or third place on the position. Uh, unfortunately, it, it, this is not the program of the Confederation of African Athletics. So, but we will send a form letter to the organizing committee of ASABA 2018 to remind them that they must fulfill their own promises. Question from Mohamed Zemur, in charge of communications of the Algerian Athletics Federation, FAA. Mr. President, the corona pandemic has not affected our continent as predicted by some international analysts. Can we know if this virus has affected our athletes? What are the actions taken by the CAA towards the community of Africa? Once again, I have to answer to Mr. Ibrahim Fokuwe from Cameroon uh, about his question. Uh, by what mechanism and how high does the CAA intend to participate in the said project. But uh, we are a world family. Uh, world Athletics is a global family. CAA is part of that family. 
FSA doesn't have uh, different means. We have a global uh, means. So we have decided to uh, set up a fund for 500,000 US dollar to support our athletes, to support our federation. And uh, we appoint a task force. Uh, the members of the task force are not working. They will come out with uh, proposals and when the proposal could be approved, uh, then we will think thing will be clear for all of us to see how uh, each federation or each athlete um, selected could be have a, could have a benefit of that process. Um, the criteria for the moment we are considering the world ranking, but uh, Africa had also its voice to say that uh, the African ranking could be considered to support uh, our African athletes. So this is the situation. We are represented in the task force by Mr. Hisham Al Garush and uh, by Mrs. Uh, uh, Beatrice Aikuru from Uganda. Uh, we are waiting for the, the final decision that the task force will propose to the executive board and certainly uh, the executive board and the CA council will make a formal decision and uh, that decision will be known by everyone. The place of the Federation in the process, but uh, the place of the Federation, the Federation does, are the pillar of our movement. So the Federation are really involved in this uh, process because they are the Atlas owners. Uh, they are the uh, key pillar of our movement at the world level. So uh, the benefit that could come from the uh, uh, solidarity fund that we set up uh, certainly is the benefit to the Federation. Uh, the Federation is the one who, which could propose or uh, intervene uh, on the process that we want to make to, to put in place and to help the athletes. Some Federation will certainly get a lot of benefit like I say the strong Federation like Kenya certainly will get um, more money than for example, Cameroonian Federation. So uh, this question is a very difficult one for me because I don't have clearly the mean that can uh, that I can share with, with, with the Federation. But the Federation uh, are taking a very strong position in the process. Another question from Mr. Zemo from Algeria. The corona pandemic has forced the postponement of all competitions and obviously the African Athletics Championships in Algeria have set a specific date in consultation with our federation. You had to carry out an inspection visit which was postponed for when? Kenya was to host the World Championships but cancelled can we know the losses caused in the country and what are the guarantees of world athletics? My apologies, I had internet reference from another call, so I couldn't um, answer properly to the question. Uh, uh, what I would like to say is that uh, uh, we are citizens, all of us, athletes, uh, leaders of sports, we are citizens of our countries. and. Uh, the decision that we made at the beginning of this coronavirus uh, 2019, we sent a circular letter to all our federation, asking them to respect the rules set up by the different government to protect the citizen of those their countries. They are not uh, out of this process to be a citizen of the country. So if this, the government of the country uh, set up some decisions, some rules to protect the global population. Our athletes and our coaches, our sports leaders are among the population. So they must just follow uh, the global rule in the country. We as an association, we don't have another opportunity to protect them. We have advised them to follow the, uh, the decision made by the local national authorities and I hope that that could be that could help our athlete to be protected from the coronavirus. Otherwise, as a confederation of African athletics, uh, we don't have uh, any other means to protect the athletes.
question from Celeste Caroni from Nairobi, a journalist with BBC Africa. This year, CAA was confident that their one-day meet series would finally take off, but now COVID-19 has disrupted it. Is it still in the pipeline for the coming year? As a seasoned sports administrator, what does he feel is the biggest lesson federations should take from the disruption from COVID-19? Uh, to answer again to Mr. Zemur in English, um, uh, I would like to say that uh, we kept the uh, African Championship in Algiers uh, for next year. Uh, we want to have the event uh, certainly uh, by June. Uh, we want to put it one month or 40 days before the Olympic Games. That will allow our athletes who are not yet qualified for the Olympic Games to do it. And uh, certainly those who have been prepared but they will, can improve also their performance uh, some weeks before the Olympics to, to compete in that competition. And I would like to be great. I would like to say my gratitude to the Algerian authorities. They agreed to keep the event in Algiers, uh, despite the fact that uh, after the coronavirus, uh, certainly the situation, the economic situation in all our countries will be different. But uh, Algeria is prepared to host the event. And then I would like to say also that um, the... Um... Question from Daniel Wahome, Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. What are the plans to engage countries that can host meetings at zonal level to make the sport more Afrocentric? What plans does CAA have to engage the fans of the sport in Africa and help it generate income? Um, I would like to answer the, to, the, uh, to Celestine Corone from Nairobi, uh, who is a journalist with BBC. Uh, yes, of course, after the end of this uh, uh, coronavirus pandemic, uh, we will set up a new program, and for sure we will plan the one-day meeting in our six different cities that we have already uh, chosen. So there is no problem for that. I don't think that uh, we are going to withdraw uh, that event from our uh, calendar. We will do it for sure. Question from Michelle from BBC Sport Africa based in Nairobi. Is CAA still planning to have Africa cross country championships the same year with World Cross 2021? How soon will the new date of Africa Senior be set? Aside World Athletics Fund, how is CAA helping member federations financially during this COVID-19 pandemic? Um, I would like to answer to Daniel Wahom. Um, the question is, for the moment, we don't have uh, any plan because we stop all our activities. We will, wait, we will wait till the end of the pandemic of the coronavirus. And after that, uh, all our different structures will, make, will meet to make the analysis of the situation, to identify our weaknesses and our strength. And then we will set up a new strategic plan for the future. For the moment, I think it is difficult for me to say, this is what we are going to do because uh, alone, I don't know exactly what could happen. We are a team, we are a team, and as a team, we have to work together. For the moment, we didn't uh, uh, meet to discuss, or we don't know when we are going to start our new uh, program, because we don't know the end of the pandemic. Uh, so this is just a very difficult question that you are asking me, uh, for sure. Uh, at the end of this uh, pandemic, when we will be able to be free to organize our events, then we will meet, we will discuss uh, different strategies among those strategies, the regional competition, the continental competition, even the national competitions. So for uh, generating incomes, Yes, when the competition will start, 
we have our marketing partner. Uh, they will work on our program, the new program. Then they will sell it. They sell the right to the TV and they sell also uh, our event to the companies interested by supporting sports. Uh, in, in this, at that moment, we will be able to say uh, we generate income from uh, TV rights, uh, we generate income from uh, selling our uh, program to the companies interested in sports. So, but for the moment, it is uh, difficult for me to give uh, the right answer how we can we are going to proceed. I don't want to uh, manage like uh, uh, I am alone on the board. I'm coordinating a team, and uh, the winning of the team is very important. It helps to set up a strong strategy for our continent and for our sports. Another question from Michelle. What is Kakaba's position on events like the 3,000 and 5,000 meters being removed from the Diamond League? Did he ever defend their remaining on the Diamond League calendar at World Athletics? Is CAA happy with where Africa is in terms of Africa? Now, now I'm answering to the, that question coming from uh, BBC Nairobi. Uh, first, uh, is CAA still planning to have Africa Cross Country Championship? Yes. Uh, we postponed our event to 2021. Uh, this cross country will be oh, will be in Togo. It will be in the same year with the World Cross Country, but we will have our own uh, at least one month before the World Cross Country. Then the other question is uh, how soon will the new dates of Africa Senior be set? How soon? This is a uh, I think it is uh, it is not the moment now because uh, it is important for us to know that uh, the coronavirus is over. Then we can start to plan the dates. We cannot start to plan now. Uh, but the projection that we made is uh, June 2021, with the hope that before that date uh, we will overcome the pandemic of the virus, coronavirus. coronavirus because we cannot organize an event if uh, the environment is not safe for our athletes. And then, aside World Athletics Fund, how is CAA help? We have a common, we, uh, we are part of the World Athletics, and we have the fund that we decided to, to put in place. It's a, it's a fund coming from the World Athletic Foundation, and we are part of the World Athletic Foundation. Uh, CAA doesn't have other means out of this. Uh, we put our effort together. Another question from Michelle. Any plans to venture into more African-based events with huge prize money so as to attract African stars to compete on African soil? Every week we have a consultation between the area president and the world athletic president to discuss the issue of the global athletics in the world. So all the decisions that uh, world athletics is taking, it is our consensus, it is our common decision. So we don't have uh, uh, another fund to put in the, the 500,000 US dollars that uh, our foundation has already decided to put to help uh, our athletes and other uh, important issue of athletics. And then any plan to venture in more African-based events? Yeah, we are trying to set up uh, a strong calendar. First, every time we could organize our main event. Our main events are the uh, under 18, under 20, and the senior championship, and the cross-country championship. And now we are we set up the what we call Af African Athletic Tour. Um, when we had a, uh, a partnership with uh, Vanquish, a Spanish company, uh, which is going to sell our events and our rights. So we hope that uh, those programs could bring money to Africa, additionally to what we are expecting from the Olympic Games and from the World Championships.
But let me say that uh, we African people, uh, we often open uh, big eyes, uh, but we forget that we are also from a developing countries, and then the culture of African people is more focused on football, not on athletics. And we are trying to convince uh, the uh, African people that athletics is the most performance sport that that um, used to make the pride of the continent. And then we need the support from from the uh, African organization like uh, African Union or other great company based in the continent. But the message certain uh, in many cases the message is not well understood by those organizations so uh, we are struggling we are doing our best uh, but you must know that uh, a development continent doesn't have the same opportunity that uh, the developed continent like europe or the america <laughs>